Mr Deputy Speaker, you will be aware that the House of Commons has just published a report by the Independent Expert Panel on the conduct of Mr John Burko. It says, in small part, 21 separate allegations were proved and have been upheld. The House may feel that his conduct brought the High Office of Speaker into disrepute. This was behaviour which had no place in any workplace. Members of staff in this House should not be expected to have to tolerate it as a part of everyday life. And I concur. Now, there were many people in this House, I included, who tried to raise this on several occasions when John Burko was Speaker, but nothing was done. And I feel that not only has John Burko been shown to be of a disreputable nature, but in some ways this House has been put into disrepute. And I simply ask you, will there be any occasion for the Leader of the House to come here and make a statement about this damning report and the damning report about John Burko, and also give an opportunity to debate how on earth this could have lasted so long, this terror of bullying. Further yeah. yeah. well, to that point of order, Caroline Johnson. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. Mr Deputy Speaker, Mr Burko has been shown in this report to be a serial bully, to have displayed undermining behaviour towards the staff of this House, and it describes a catalogue of dreadful conduct which is clearly unacceptable, risks damaging the reputation of this House, and must never be allowed to happen again. I have a couple of questions. Firstly, there were a number of records of Mr Burko's period in office uh, throughout uh, this uh, building, which have to be seen on a potentially daily basis by his victims. In the light of this report and the need to set history in context, is there any um, uh, intention on the basis of Mr Speaker or the Speaker's office to put explanatory plaques alongside these, such as next to Mr Burko's um, <laughs> portrait in the Speaker's house? Is it in order, Mr Deputy Speaker, to ask if the Leader of the Opposition is happy to tolerate such bullying behaviour within his party or whether he intends to expel Mr Burko from the Labour Party? And thirdly, what can we do to ensure such behaviour does not happen in the future? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thank both members uh, for their points of order. Clearly this puts uh, the Chair in an invidious position. As far as um, um, any plaques being erected or what is going to follow on, from uh, uh, the report. I've not had an opportunity to read the report myself at this moment in time, so I can't uh, comment on it. But what I would say uh, is that uh, there is a business statement that will be occurring on Thursday at the normal time. And I suggest that both members turn up for that on Thursday and directly ask the Leader of the House uh, what uh, will now transpire following the publication of that report.